We continue to follow breaking news all day long out of Virginia Beach. Two people dead, four others hurt after a car crash there at the intersection of Military Highway and Indian River Road. Happened a little earlier today. And 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin has followed the story all morning long for us. Megan, what have you learned? Well, you guys, we have more context behind this crash and what we've learned has changed since earlier this morning. For about five and a half hours, Virginia Beach police officers closed South Military Highway near Indian River Road. It's very sad. Like. Officers say the driver of this Nissan Altima and a passenger were speeding down Military Highway, ignoring several traffic lights. Once he got close to the intersection of Indian River Road, officers say the Nissan hit a Toyota Camry with three people inside. Investigators say the driver of the Toyota was legally turning left onto Indian River Road. The Nissan hit the Toyota, causing it to spin towards Military Highway and hit a pedestrian. The impact of the crash so strong it ejected the driver from the car. Emergency responders drove everyone from the Toyota and the passenger in the Nissan to the hospital. They should be okay, but the driver of the Nissan and the pedestrian died. Neighbors tell us they can't sleep since hearing the crash. I didn't hear brakes. I just heard the crash. I didn't hear no screeching or nothing like that. It was just boom, just the impact. Paris Ruffin lives in the condos a block away, and she says this crash is especially troubling because her husband and some friends work the night shift. I just said, God, um, I know there's been an accident because I heard it, and I just pray that everyone is okay, and especially if it's one of my neighbors because me and my neighbors are pretty close. Tow companies eventually pulled both damaged cars away while officers worked to notify the next of Ken. Well, officers say they won't name the people who died until 24 hours after they speak with their families. It's the same protocol as the military because of our large military community. Megan Shin, 13 News Now.